वेलकम वी पार्टनर साथी सनाती राजा वादों से अपने मुकरता नहीं मरने से मैं कभी डरता नहीं आशिक हूँ मैं कातिल भी हूँ सबके दिलों में शामिल भी हूँ दिल को चुराना नींदे उड़ाना बस यही मेरा कसूर वादों से अपने मुकरता नहीं मरने से मैं कभी थैंक यू नमस्ते ओके सी डाउन थैंक यू Good morning. Welcome to Freedom 2.0. And welcome to your future. I think I think freedom 3.0 should be held in India. Okay? Okay. Thank you. So I'm very excited to be here. I see we have people from Qatar, UAE, Pakistan, and where is that from? Okay, for those of y'all who don't know me, how many of you are seeing me for the first time? Okay. As you might already know, I have two brothers. Yes. Number one is we partner Kuna. I'm number two, and yeah. 
See, if I tell you my youngest brother's name, and if you make too much noise, I won't speak. Okay? The third is Chief Partman. Okay. So, I don't understand. I, I, I don't understand. I'm standing in front of you and you are cheering for him. Okay, so I'm going to share with you tonight a little bit of I'm going to share with you a little bit of my journey in QNET Okay I've been with this company for 21 years Okay and and I know what you must be thinking. Twenty-one years, and he's still working. I'm still working because you are not maxed out yet. <coughs> so the faster you max out, the faster I can retire. With we partner Dave Madhwani and we can travel the world together. Sit on the beaches and have mango juice. But because of you, we have to come here, talk to you, motivate you, get you excited year after year after year. So you must succeed much faster so that you can take over my job. Is that okay? Who wants to max out? Okay. Is it easy? Is building QNET easy? Easy or no? Some say yes, some say no. It's actually, actually very easy. All you have to do is find three on the left, three on the right. That's all. In the beginning, you get three on the left, three on the right every month once. Then slowly, every week once. Then slowly, every minute, three on the left, three on the right, three on the left, three on the right, three on the left, three on the right. That's what you should be aiming for. Okay? So when you drink your coffee, when you drink coffee, you make a check. When you shower, you make money. When you sleep, you make money. That's what you should aim for. Okay? Because I think that's what happens to your upline also. Correct? We partner Sachin. The next time you meet him, ask him. Do you make money when you sleep? Trust me, he makes a lot of money while he sleeps. Okay? So in the beginning, it may be very frustrating and difficult. You're struggling to get... Now maybe you have three on the left, two on the right. To get that one more is the hardest thing. Correct? To hit that one check. But everybody started off like that. Even I started off like that. Okay? I had 15 on the left. 
zero on the right. I went to upline, my upline and said, where's my money? He said, no money. I said, listen, you said three and three, which is six. I have 15. <laughs> Do the maths, I should be making money. He said, no, you must balance both sides. I said, okay, take some and put here. He said, cannot. So I said, this business is a scam. <clears throat> he never told me both must be equally balanced, nothing. He said, speak to two people and duplicate. Okay? So when I first started, now, if I say something that you have experienced the same thing, raise your hands one time. Okay? This morning I brushed my teeth. Uh, some of you did not. Okay? So I was working as an engineer. A lot of morons in this hall. <laughs> Engineers are the worst. True? Ah. It, it's just a flashy title, but engineers don't know anything. Okay? Trust me, I am one of them. So, but I was happy. I was working in an American company called Motorola. Now you know why they went out of business. <laughs> because I was working there. Okay? Then, my brother, Chief Partman, one day came back. He said, I found a business. I said, okay, what business? I was happy working in Motorola, Friday, Saturday party, Sunday recover, Monday to Friday work. So, nobody like that? Ah, Monday to Friday work, Friday, Saturday party, Sunday recover. Correct? So I was happily doing that. I had a car, I was young, single, every weekend party, then my brother said, I've got a business that can change our life. I said, there's nothing wrong with my life. Why would I want to change it? Okay? American-based company, no punch card needed. I can go anytime, come back anytime, leave anytime. Boss doesn't know. Sometimes two, three days I don't go to work, boss won't know. Okay? So he said, no, you can make a lot of money, we can travel around the world, we can buy nice cars. I said, okay, what is this business about? So he drew a circle. <laughs> this is you. <laughs> Find one on the left, one on the right. That's all. I said, that is not a business. That's a scam. Somebody cheated you. He said, no, let's do it. I said, no, I'm not interested. He said, okay, I'm going to do it. Then I thought to myself, then I thought to myself, what if it works? Then he'll be rich, I'll be poor. <laughs> you know? So, just not to risk, I join. <laughs> That's how I joined the business and I didn't do anything. Okay? Then he started talking to people, he started making money. When he reached $2,000 a week, I was making $500 a month <laughs> from my job. <laughs> okay? Every morning I wake up, I go to work, come back, go to work, come back, go to work, come back, go to work. 
After 30 days, they pay me $500. He gets up in the afternoon, draws circles and have coffee and earn 2000 a week. So, so I thought something must be wrong. Then I realized what was wrong. I was stupid. So I decided, okay, I'm going to start the business. Now, when you want to start a business, who will you start with? Your close friends. So I went to a few of my friends. I said, let's do this business. You can make a lot of money. Everybody said no. Nobody? Same? Anybody? Uh, you're supposed to raise your hand if you experience the same thing. Stay focused. So then I realized that this business is not as easy as I thought. Because I thought, okay, my best friends join, we'll have a lot of fun, make a lot of money, and have fun in the business. So when my best friends did not join, I thought, I'm going to fail in this business. Now, man, I have a huge family because my grandfather and grandmother did not have TV. <laughs> Some of you will understand this later. So my first cousins alone can fill this room. <laughs> so I approach them one by one. Again, they said no. So now I'm running out of options. My friends say no. My cousin says no. Okay. One last option. Motorola. So every day at work, I'll call the guy. Psst. <laughs> this is you. One of the love, one of the right. Then my boss walks past, turn the paper. Yes. This should be here, this should be here. Okay, we can no problem. Boss goes away, turn the paper again. <laughs> then And then some of them joined. So one side was growing. So 15 on one side, all for Motorola. Okay? That's why Motorola is going bankrupt. <laughs> because everybody is drawing circles now with Motorola. Okay? So now I needed to put somebody on the other side. So somehow I did not give up. I went to my best friend. I said, his name is AVP Giri. Okay, so <clears throat> I said, Giri, let's do this. So for three months, I was chasing him. Okay, every time I call you, Giri, can we meet? He said, if you're going to talk to me about QNET, don't come. I said, no, no, we won't talk about QNET. I meet him, we end up talking about QNET. Then this went on for three months. He said, okay, okay, okay. I'll join. Okay? But that time, me and Giri, every weekend, we were partying. Okay? He'll call me. He said, Sati, there are two girls. They want to go dancing. Shall we go? Then, Chief Partman calls me. Tonight, there's a training. Are you? Q 
क्यों ना ट्रेनिंग और डांसिंग विद टू ब्यूटीफुल गर्ल्स व्हाट वुड यू डू हाँ डोंट लाइस सो आई टोल चीफ I cannot come for training. I have to go and show the plan. Me? Ah, appliance. Not all these people. So we went out. Me and Giri went out. Dance, had a good time. Then came back. Chief said, "How was the plan?" They are not interested. The following week, Giri calls again. Let's go dancing. <laughs> Chief calls. Training. Are you? <laughs> Chief, I cannot. I have another plan. Go dancing. Come back. How was the plan? Not interested. <laughs> Next week, Giri calls again. I said, "Okay, let's go dancing." Chief calls, training. I said, "I can't. I have to show the plan." He said, "Okay, let me follow you." Oh. <laughs> I will help to show the plan. Call Giri. Giri, cancel dancing. <laughs> Tell the girls we got a business for them. So when met the two girls, chief showed them the plan. They joined. <laughs> so next week, Giri calls. The two girls want to go dancing, but now they are in the business. They should attend training. No, they just joined so Chief would keep his mouth shut. They joined because they were tired of listening to Chief. That's why they joined. They're not interested in the business. I said, "Okay, let's go dancing." So that was how I started in the business. I know some of you are still doing this. When your plan calls you and you're fast asleep, I'm showing the plan. Okay, our plan calls you for a training. I'm busy. How many of you are like that? Okay. So then, slowly, 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 I understood about the business, and I was making. Two fifty every three weeks. How much is two fifty in rupees? Fifteen thousand. So fifteen thousand rupees every three weeks. Okay. Chief was making four thousand dollars every week. He started buying nice things. He bought a new car. I had an old car. My car was about 15 years old. Every time I start the car, something fell off. <laughs> He bought a brand new car. So I thought to myself, maybe if I started focusing more, I also can make some money. So I told Giri, Giri, I think we should stop dancing for a while. Why don't we focus on the business? He said, "Okay." Got the two girls excited about the business also. So then the business started growing. Then I was making about one thousand five hundred dollars a week, six thousand dollars a month. What to do next? 
quit my job. So I went to my boss. I said, boss, I want to quit my job. He said, why? I said, come, this is you. <laughs> one on the left, one on the right. And, and he joined the business. <laughs> my boss is my downline. Now I can shout at him. It was all planned. So the, started, the business started growing, everything was perfect. Okay? Then Giri said, I have a friend in Singapore. Went to Singapore, signed up his friend. So now I realized my business has gone international. Singapore is just a few hours from Malaysia, but it's still international. Okay? Then I thought to myself, maybe I can go and build the business overseas. First country I chose, India. First, first place I landed was Hyderabad. I stayed in Banjara Hills in a small house I rented and I stayed there for nine months. Then I started signing up people in Hyderabad, Vijayawada, Wysak, all this place. And this is my first time to India. Okay? Anyone from Hyderabad? Okay. So people in Hyderabad are very different from people in Malaysia. Okay? They come, they sit down, and take out the paper, they sit. Japan. That means, tell me. Okay? Now tell me. So I show this is you. Ah, chain business. I said, no, we don't sell any chains. I didn't understand what chain business was. So, signed up a few people. Okay? Then, and I used to collect cash. Collect cash, so I had one suitcase of cash. Now, I had to go and give the money to the office in Chennai. So, I had a suitcase of money. I had to go from Hyderabad to Chennai. So I took the train. I think if I didn't forget, it's called the Shalima Express. Correct? Yes or no? Ah. So first time I'm taking the train in India. So I'm carrying suitcase of money into the train. The sleeping, sleeping couch. Coach. Then as I went in, I saw somebody else carry a suitcase, pulled out a long chain and chained his suitcase to the seat. I said, I didn't bring any chain. <laughs> and I'm carrying a suitcase of money. So I slept hugging the suitcase like that. For 12 hours. Then reached Chennai, and this is all my first time to India, okay? So reached Chennai, and the business started growing in Chennai also. So now I have Malaysia, Singapore, Hyderabad, Chennai. Now I was making about $6,000 a week. $6,000 a week, when you are 24 years old, you are? King. Then I call Giri. Giri, I think now we can go dancing every day. <laughs> because at 24 years old, I am making 24,000 US dollars. Unbelievable, isn't it? How many of you are 24 years old? Less than 24? 
Okay, imagine if you're making 24,000 US dollars now every month. What would you do? Huh? So, then you learn how to do the quest account dance. Have you seen the quest account dance? Quest account dance is like this. You go in the computer, you open your quest account. So every Tuesday, open the quest account and dance. I've been doing this for 21 years. Most of you cannot do the quest account dance. Because you open your quest account and you start crying. So slowly it will get there, don't worry. Okay? Then I came back to Malaysia. Then the network started growing bigger, bigger, and bigger. Now I was almost maxing out. And this is just about two years in the business. Okay? Then, one day I woke up, I saw my phone, 100 missed calls, all from the network. So I thought, why? What happened? Then somebody, I called somebody back, and they said, read the newspaper. So I read the newspaper, headlines. 20,000 people feared cheated by Hong Kong company. What happened next? Do you know what happened next? From $6,000 a week, it went to zero. The entire network collapse. Why? Because we were not focused on training at all. We were just signing up people left, right, center. It was like a factory. You know? Sign up, okay, go and sign up. Sign up, go and sign up. Sign up, go and sign up. So there was no trainings like this. There was... Vicon was 100 people. So when the network collapsed, I went to my upline, Chief Batman. I said, Batman, what should we do now? He said, I don't know. Then I realized that he was a lousy upline. <laughs> he doesn't know anything. So, he said, let's go and talk to Dato Sri. He was our grand upline. Okay? So, he went to him. He was not a Dato Sri at that time. He was still Mr. Vijay Iswaran. And we call him Iswaran. So, and the Iswaran, what do we do now? He said, quit. Huh? He's worse than my airplane. I said, I came here to my airplane for advice on what to do. He said, I'm giving you advice. Quit. But I can't quit. I quit my job. I can't quit the business. Some people are still following me. Then Bill. Then I said, how to Bill? Headline saying that we are a scam. Then quit. Ayo.
he only gave me this option build or quit but how to build with all these problems then quit this was the discussion I was having with my grand upline the founder of this company then I asked Patman Patman what to do quit Both my uplines have gone mad. So I said, let me think about it. So I went home, sat down and really thought, what to do? First, I tried to understand the problem. Are we really a scam? So, I decided to investigate what actually happened. Now, our business, you make a lot of enemies very fast. True? Because somebody who is working in a job for 40 years drives the Toyota. Somebody who does QNET for two years drives a Mercedes. Okay? Won't the guy get upset? So we decided to find out what actually happened. And we realized it was a suitcase problem. So there was another company called Mway. Have you heard of it? Okay, so MV in Malaysia, the owner got very upset because a lot of distributors from MV were leaving them and joining QNET. So obviously they are losing business. So the owner gets very upset and he plays golf with the Minister of Trade. So he gives the Minister of Trade one suitcase. QNET is causing a lot of problems to me. Solve it. Okay? This Minister opens the suitcase, takes some of the things inside out, put it in a smaller suitcase, and calls the editor of the newspaper. There's this company, QNET, causing problems give them some problems okay then the minister takes a little bit out of the suitcase put in a different suitcase and calls the chief of police there's this company giving my friend problems give them some problems so that was what was happening because of the suitcases, we were called a scam. Okay? This was happening in Malaysia. So I said, no, cannot be. I have to rebuild the business. Because I know that we are not a scam. So then I started rebuilding the business. Okay? Then, after one year, the network started growing again. Now, with a lot of training, focus on training, slowly educating the networkers, boom, 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 boom. After one year, again in the headlines, QNET is a scam. Now, the entire network didn't collapse, half collapsed. So, I went to Dato again. Dato, what do we do now? Guess what he said? Quit! I said, I cannot have this conversation again with him. So I went 
department and say, Batman, how shall we do this now? He said, let's rebuild. Yeah, but it is not easy. Every time I build, it collapses. Build, it collapses. Build, collapse. How long to do this? So he said, I don't know. Let's go and ask Dato. So Dato, how long to build, collapse, build, collapse, build, collapse? He said, I think for the next 40 years, you have to do this. If you cannot, quit. So he said, that means for the next 40 years, I have to build a network and it will collapse because of some newspaper or something on TV. Then bill again, it will collapse again. Bill again, it will collapse again. He said, yes. That is our business. If you don't want to do the business, quit. So I had no choice. I can't go back to Motorola. And by the way, my boss quit the first time the article came out. Okay? <clears throat> then it was getting more and more difficult to sign people up. Okay? The moment you say, QNET, ah, this is a scam. Okay? This happened in Malaysia 20 years ago. So I said, now man, let me focus on my network in India. Okay? <clears throat> so started focusing on my network in India, the network started growing. And in India, newspaper. QNET is a scam. I said, are you? I said, I better not go and ask Dato Sri. I know his answer already. He will say, quit. Okay? So I said, what to do now? But the thing was, I had no choice. I could not quit. Why? Because I still had downlines who wanted to build. So I cannot be an irresponsible upline and quit. Yeah. So as long as you have one downline in your network, you cannot quit. Because when you showed him the plan, you made a promise to him that you will help him to succeed. True? So a few hours, we started. And Giri is still with me today. We don't dance as much because the knees are not as young as it used to be. Correct? But now we have networks in about more than 40 to 50 countries. Okay? So no problem. One country article, this country we build. This country article, we build this, we build this, build this, build this. Okay? Now in your country, are there articles? Yes? So what should you do? Quit. Huh? Bill, that's the only choice you have. Because if you don't build, what are you going to do? Go to work. Come back home. Go to work. Come back home. See, the people who are not in QNET, I can predict their future. For the next 40 years, they go to work, come back home, 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 die. That's all. I can predict their future. True or not? Your future I cannot predict. Show the plan, come back home. Show the plan, come back home. 
Show the plan. New car. Show the plan. New house. Okay. How many of you are working in a job still? Okay. I respect that because the job is putting food on the table and paying the bills now, correct? That is temporary, correct? Once you start maxing out, I hope you are not going to work. Because you won't have time to go to work. Because you wake up in the morning, fly to Hong Kong for breakfast, fly to Dubai for lunch, and fly to London for dinner. So, now building the business, do you face challenges? Do you have problems? No problems. Then you should be maxing out if you don't have problems. You have problems, correct? What are your problems? Rejection. Parents don't support. Swami Googlananda talks bad. <laughs> Your husband or wife doesn't support. You are doing so many plans, but nobody is joining. You're worried about your image. You're worried about your status. Your relationships have problems. Yes or no? So all these problems you face. You had to borrow money to come to Bangkok. And you're sitting here, how to pay back when I go back? Yes or no? And then you're sitting there for this three or four days in freedom and looking at your downline the whole time. <laughs> when the downline shakes your head, you say, yes, I'm going to be rich. If you're down and sleeping, are you hopeless bugger? <laughs> so don't focus on your downline. The person shaking the head most and clapping the most will quit the first. <laughs> okay, so focus on yourself. This freedom is about your freedom, not about your downline's freedom. This is your life, not your downline's life, not your upline's life. Now, 99% of your problems will be solved. when you start to make money. Now you're frustrated. Your wife is saying, or your husband is saying, why are you wasting time with this business? You're not spending time with the children. You're out for trainings and meetings and showing the plan. And you see the newspaper every time negative things talk about the company. Why are you doing this? True? But if you earn 10,000 a week, what are you doing home? Go and show the plan. <laughs> True or not? Your wife doesn't support by her diamond ring, honey. <laughs> Go to Bangkok, attend freedom. No problem. So the problem is you. You are not 
making money and it's so easy to make money how to make money you don't even have to talk then one day you will earn 250 a week okay <laughs> 250 a week 500 a week 1000 a week then slowly 10000 a week then max out then come for my training and i'll teach you the quest account dance okay but until you start doing the quest account dance you have to go through this whatever problems you have you will have to go through there is no shortcuts i have bigger problems than you i forecast at home every morning my problem is which car to use that is a much bigger problem than yours correct so i always tell my downlines upgrade your problems rejection is not a problem okay when somebody rejects you say thank you because if everybody joins qnet who is going to drive taxis who is going to drive the bus who is going to work in the bank to cash out your checks who is going to be pilots to fly you around the world So when somebody says no you say thank you. He say why? Because one day you'll be working for me. <laughs> People will laugh at you now. Yes or no? When the newspaper article came out a few types of people call me. first kind of people are you okay is everything okay don't worry things will be okay okay the second time the people who call and laugh and said i told you correct the third kind of people i want my money back i don't care i want my money back and the fourth kind of people screw them let's build this together so in the next 20 years you have to deal with these four people the first kind of people good they are not in the business but always there to support you correct the second type of people is who laugh and said i told you so these people don't forget them because when you are in hawaii take a picture and send them i have many of those kind of people who now don't laugh anymore now they cry that's why you see if you follow we partner sachin's instagram every time you see his shoes in front of the tv bangkok hanoi dubai malaysia london australia japan correct the people who laugh to him home work home 
So you have a choice tonight. Make a decision that nothing is going to stop you, nothing is going to slow you down. That's the decision you got to make tonight. Because when the going got tough, when I got frustrated, and there's many times I almost wanted to quit. How many of you almost wanted to quit? Okay? Then somehow you did not quit because why? Huh? What? Support from the upline or you still have a little bit of belief and you have the dream still. Correct? So you cannot quit. But there's many times I wanted to quit. I wanted to kill my downlines. <laughs> wanted to kill my upline. Okay? But I couldn't kill my downlines or uplines. There are no choice. There are many times I sat down alone and cried. How many of you have done that? The frustration level is so high. You don't know what to do. You sit down and you cry. Sometimes I go to Dato, Dato, I cannot take it anymore. It's too difficult. He said, quit. <laughs> then he asked me a question. Whose life is this? I said, mine. Then you decide what you want to do. Every time there's a problem, don't come and cry to me. Do I cry to you? I said, no, you are the upline. <laughs> then he said, because I don't cry to anybody because this is my life. I decide what I want to do. If the business is too difficult, quit. Go work in Samsung, which is better than Motorola. I said, but I cannot go back to a job, then build. <laughs> but how to build? Every time I'm on the TV, QNAS scam, QNAS scam, QNAS scam. Then quit. <laughs> but I have downlines should depend on me, I can't quit, then build. He said, this is the hardest thing you're going to do. This business is the hardest business you're going to do. If you cannot handle the pressure as a networker, quit, go back to your job and work 8 to 5. No issues at all. Every month you get your salary. No need to depend on anybody, no need to show the plan, nothing. Why don't you do that? Life will be so easy. Go back to your life. Monday to Friday work. Friday, Saturday party. Sunday recover. Okay. Holidays, go to Bangkok. Singapore. Fly economy class. How many of you flew here economy class? Why? Economy class, they come to you. Sir, fish or chicken? <laughs> then he says chicken. Sorry, chicken finish. Then why ask? <laughs> Stupid! <laughs> business class also cannot. The business class will they'll say, sir. You have to eat between this time and this time. That is when we serve you. But I'm not hungry. At this time, this time, I'm not hungry. I want to sleep. That's why we fly first class. Whenever you want to eat, call me. 
Correct? Yes or no? First class, you just have to do this. Yes, sir, can we help you? <laughs> Economic class, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. After half an hour, they come. Yes. What do you want? Can I have one black label with soda? Okay. After two hours. <laughs> yeah. And this much they give you. After you drink, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And now they come angry. What do you want? <laughs> Why do you fly economy class? So my only goal was to fly first class when I joined the business. And why do you think they put first class in front and economy class at the back? Because when you walk through, you must see first class. Oh, then you... <laughs> right? Yes or no? Then, in economy class, you become more religious. Have you realized this? You pray that no fat people or smelly people sit next to you. <laughs> Correct or not? Yes or no? So build the business so you can start flying business and slowly fly first. Okay? Now when you fly back, when are you flying back? 16. When you fly back, don't sit together. Don't sit next to your downline or plane. And don't sit in the window or the aisle. Sit in the middle with two strangers. Then, <laughs> this is you. One on the left, one on the right. Yeah. Because the best thing, the best thing about showing the plan in the plane, they cannot go anywhere. How many hours here to India? Four hours. I have a dream which I want to fulfill one day. I want to talk to the pilot to allow me to do a business presentation on the flight. I'll use the mic and say, Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Since you have seven hours and nothing to do, I'm going to show you how to be rich. Okay? I'm going to teach you how to move from economy to first. This is you. One on the left, one on the right, and then you're first class. So all this Dato was telling me when he started. You understand? Because I was flying economy when he was flying first. So he used to tell, why you sit in economy? Like this. <laughs> For seven hours. And then the, if you sit in the window, and you got two people there, and you want to go to the toilet, how? Yeah.
Eh? Then you go to the bathroom. Then you come back. Then turbulence. Sorry, 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 sorry. All this happened not. If it hasn't happened, don't worry. It will happen. Okay? First class, you can shower on the flight. The stewardesses are younger. All the old people, they send the economy. That's why they're always angry. So have a goal to start upgrading to business and first. So now I have a problem. What is after first? Inshallah, one day I'll have my own private jet. Because every time I feel down, I feel frustrated, I feel like giving up, I just remember what Dato Sri said. Whose life is this? Mine. Yours. So you decide how you want to live it. Everybody who is successful have gone through challenges, frustrations before. True or not? If there's no challenges and no frustration, then you have no growth. You will always end up in economy. But if you want to fly first class, make a decision and face the challenges head on. Okay? If everybody you meet that has become successful in one way or another is because they made a decision and said, this is my life. I'll show you this video. Do we have the video?
So the decision you're going to make tonight is ask yourself this. Whose life is this? Whose life is this? And what are you going to do about it? Are you going to quit? No. Are you going to build? Yes. All the challenges that come your way, all the problems that come your way, what are you going to tell the problems? It's my life. When somebody says, this is a scam, what do you say? When somebody laughs at you, what do you say? When somebody says this business doesn't work, what do you say? It's my life. I can't hear you. What do you say? It's my life. When there's newspaper articles talking bad about QNET, what do you say? It's my life. When you switch on the TV, negative about QNET, what do you say? When your business collapse, what do you say? It's my life. That's what you must keep doing every single day from today until I see you in the first class in the seat next to me. <laughs> Nothing should stop you from today onwards. You make a decision and every morning when you wake up, what do you say? I cannot hear you. What do you say? This is what I've been saying for 21 years and that's why I'm standing here today talking to you. Some of you have been facing challenges or issues or problems for three, four years. I've been facing it for 21 years. So every day when I wake up, do you know what I tell myself? It's my what? It's my Can we play that song one more time slowly? And this time, I want you to feel the song. This is your life. Don't let anyone take it away from you. Come on, everybody! The silent prayer for fifty parted. And I ain't gonna be just a face in the crowd. You're gonna hear my voice when I shout it out loud. It's my 